How long does it take to learn a language? We're going to look at three different factors in learning a language that determine how long it's going to take you so that you can estimate where you are and where you desire to be and how long it will take you to get there. The first thing we're going to look at is how much you practice. So this is the biggest factor in determining how long it's going to take you to learn any language that you're learning is how many hours are you spending practicing as well as how are you practicing the quality of that practice. So on average it takes three to five years on the fast side to get to a very high level of fluency. So this is equivalent to a college degree going for four years intensive studying practicing and becoming fluent in that language at the level of being able to read write speak listen fluently easily with anyone that you come into contact and reading novels through writing letters essays anything of that sort that's the level of fluency that we're looking at with that intensive level of study many hours a week for three to five years now you're not necessarily looking for that level of fluency in your language maybe you are or maybe you're just looking for a more basic conversational level of fluency in which case you can achieve that sooner because you'll get there with those same practice modalities and hours and strategies all of that within a little less time maybe more on the three-year side or potentially sooner depending on your language learning background which is our second factor that we're going to look at mainly the languages that you already speak and how the language you're learning compares to those languages so this is whether you speak just one language now and you're learning a second or you already speak multiple languages and you're learning another those are the factors that are going to drastically affect how easily and how quickly you learn a language because if you're learning a second language it's going to take much longer and much more effort and then it's going to be much more challenging than if you're learning a third fourth fifth and so on language and the other factor with the similar languages is that if you are learning spanish and you already speak italian that's going to be pretty simple for you whereas if you're learning Mandarin Chinese and you speak English and that's it. That's going to be very challenging. Now if you speak English and Spanish and French and you're learning Mandarin as a fourth language, that will be still challenging because it is so different from the languages that you know already, but it'll be easier than if you were to just learn that as your second language. This is more difficult because when you learn a second language, you're also learning how to learn language. You're becoming bilingual and through that process, your brain has to entirely rewire how it processes language. You have to learn all of the pieces of a new language and you have to learn language itself. You have to learn more about your native language in order to learn that second language. And once you go through this process, learning a new language becomes simpler, becomes faster. So the length of time that it's going to take you to learn a language is going to be greatly affected by your background in languages that you already know, as well as your overall educational background. This brings us to our third topic here, which is how well you learn new skills. And this is largely based on your educational background in general. So how well you can read, write, speak, and listen in your native language, how much formal education you have, how well you did in your formal education, and how you process new information. All of this, everything in that holistic approach. So you have the language background and then you have your overall background in education. And this is part of it. And the other part of it is that some people also just do learn more slowly or more quickly 
than others and that's just a part of who we are. I happen to be a person who learns a bit more slowly. So either way, wherever you fall, it's completely possible for you to learn a new language all the way up to fluency. It's just a matter of acknowledging where you are in your educational background, language background, and also who you are and how you learn and finding a process that works for you. Your educational background affects how you learn language because even if you've learned many things that are unrelated to language, your brain is accustomed to learning new things. You have experience and processing information through reading, writing, speaking, listening. Regardless of what you learned, whether it was math and science or art or anything, you learned it through a bit of reading and writing, at least reading. And you speak and listen about those topics. All of that goes into everything that you learn. So when you learn anything, you're improving the skills that you need for language learning. Depending on the type of learner you are, Let's say that they can learn more easily, okay, then you're probably okay. You probably are able to move through learning language. For those of us who struggle, what we need to do is look at where we struggle and look for the resources, the strategies, the supplemental, anything, tutors, classes, anything that we need to be successful in learning language. We need to develop the tools and the systems to be successful in our language learning process. This is going to look different for each person. For me, it looked like taking college classes, plus working with a tutor, plus <laughs> setting on my own, developing reading strategies, rereading passages multiple times, looking for different vocabulary analyzing structures and anything that I could find in there, as well as explicit conversation practice with a tutor and studying abroad to immerse myself in that language. I think I did all of the things. And from doing all of the things, what I can share with you is that they all work in some way. It's just a matter of finding what works for you and also what's available to you. Not all of those things are necessarily available to every person at every moment in their lives. So you want to look at of what is available to you, how you can be successful in learning. And then you want to just have those resources available for yourself as you move through your language learning journey so that you can become fluent in your language in an optimal amount of time. Because ultimately, the fastest way you're going to learn and to break down how long it's going to take you to learn a language, to have that idea that we talked about in the beginning of this video, you need to have some kind of a system in place. And to do that, you need to know how to learn. And to do that, you need to practice and experiment a little bit. So how well you learn a language is going to be based on how much you practice and your language background, and then how well you learn new skills. All of those three pieces working together and of course how consistent you are with each of those three pieces throughout your language learning journey. All right, I hope that you guys found this helpful. If you have any questions, anything to add, feel free to leave it down below in the comments and check out the blog post as well that is linked down below and I'll see you guys back here next time. Bye!